Hey folks, Vance here with Skylar Hamilton, Bassmaster Elite Series rookie. And he's doing what all the guys wanted to do on his last tournament that concluded yesterday down in Okeechobee. Well, we went and got a dozen shiners. We're having some fun up here on Lake Toho and enjoying the beautiful central Florida weather and uh, cheating a little bit and catching a few bass and a few gar and, and whatnot. But we're just chilling out and having a good time. And we're going to get to know Skylar a little bit here. Uh, he just finished two Elite Series tournaments. Yep. Get the, get season started off and now we're looking to the big one. Later on in March, we're going over to Conroe, Texas. So, uh, Skylar, what what are your thoughts on the, uh, the first two events? You know, this far in the season, has, has it been what you expected? The Elite it, Series. Yeah, man. You know, the first one was on Cherokee, is my home lake. I've lived there pretty much my whole life. Um, so it, it went as planned. You know, I'd like to have done a little bit better, but to make a check with those that group of guys is is really good. And and it came come to Okeechobee. Uh, not very good in Florida. I uh, can't even hardly catch them with shiners, but we're trying to today. But to make a check down there was, you know, the first day I had 20 pounds, it really saved me. And the last two days I fell off. But, man, just to come away and have good momentum going to the Classic, that, that's what it's all about. A lot of guys were scared about having two bad tournaments before then. And, and you know, you have to have that momentum going, and I think I do. Um, I feel really confident, you know, to go down there and fish against them. And uh, it's going to be a lot of fun. So you don't do a lot of pre-fishing typically, any of that pre-before the lake goes off limits, you don't do that kind of stuff typically? No, I, I'm, I'm just not too big on it. I get, I get messed up if I go and scout. Now, if, if I need to go somewhere and figure out how to run, I'll, I'll typically go if it's going to be dangerous to run. But other than that, I don't like to go and get an idea of what the fish are doing at that time of year and then have a month off, you know. Because you'll always, you can always try to block it out, but you always have something in the back of your mind. Uh, that you did in pre-practice and that can really hurt you now you've made two checks of two tournaments and based on your experience coming up and all the other trails you fished well, has it been just mind-blowingly difficult to compete on the elite series or are you find that maybe when you get up there you're fishing against fewer guys and the odds actually favor you somewhat yeah i mean it, you, when you have the opens of course you have usually 200 anglers and that's what i've been used to fishing and they only pay the top 40. So that, that check margin is, you know, substantially down. In, in the Elite Series, you have 110 guys, and they pay 51 spots. So to, it, it's a little bit easier to make a check. Is You know, that's a different caliber of guys, but your odds as far as making money are a lot better on the Elite Series um, just from the, you know, you have 50-50 chance every, every tournament. So if I can keep making checks and keep doing good and, you know, maybe win a couple here and there and get in a top 12, I'll, I'll be in good shape. So going to the Bassmaster Classic, uh, any game plan formulated yet? You're just going to wait till you see the lake? you have any idea what, where you want to start scouting, anything? Yeah, I, I know there's a lot of big creeks on the lower end of the lake. I mean, there's a river that feeds in. That's probably where I'll spend the majority of my practice time. There's a lot of docks. One of my favorite things to do is, is to skip docks. Um, that's what I grew up doing, and it's really what got me here. So I'll feel pretty comfortable. I'll just go look around, try to find the best docks, the best creeks, and um, hopefully it'll pay off. How does the fact that you're the only guy running an aluminum boat affect your game plan? Man, it affects my game plan for, from a confidence standpoint. Um, it gives me more confidence to go into areas that others probably won't. Uh, it rides amazing so I, and I've got the speed I've got everything the fiberglass boats have except I can go and get into those little creeks and if, it, if they're at Conroe and they're back in as far back in the creeks you can get then I'll be back there at them 